These are not the best times for Ahmed Bola Tinumbu, as it appears that the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and former governor of Lagos State, is still being invited for questioning over drug-related crimes and criminal activities allegedly he committed whilst he was in the United States. If you could recall that Bola Metinumbu left Nigeria in exile, some said he went to the United Kingdom, and somehow he got himself involved in all of this. A report monitored on the Federal Bureau of Investigations, Crime Data Explorer, revealed an open warrant seeking the arrest of Bola Ahmed Tunumbu over unanswered questions relating to his indictment in 1995 over cocaine, heroin, and gun-related crimes. That's huge, right? It will be recalled that the United States government seized cocaine, heroin, guns, and other items used in operating the drug ring in Chicago from Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. It is true that he is still a suspect, and the case against him is very much open. A United States of America security source said, even if today Tinumbu decides to visit the United States again, he will be questioned. His crime is not just one that can be swept under the carpet just like that. Although he oftentimes visits the United Kingdom, but I've never heard, seen Bolame Tinumbu visit the United States of America. But somehow I think the United States and America, uh, United States of America and United Kingdom, in this aspect, they are not sharing um, information as it is not yet clear. He has not, um, you, you know, it's not yet clear, I think, but somehow he does visit the United Kingdom. The usual suspicion by the United States and other countries is that once you have a criminal record, you must be monitored properly in order to forestall you committing the same crime again. Tinubu's drug crime life has refused to go away from the United States authorities even as mainstream media houses in Nigeria have been largely compromised and will not report the atrocities and conviction of the former of the APC leader. It will be recalled that the APC national leader was indicted at the United States government for drug and fraud related offenses also, according to the document signed by a former United States government narcotics attache in its embassy in Nigeria, Andre W. Kellum, Tinubu, they said, operated an organization that distributed cocaine. Kellum, who signed the United States documents while serving in Nigeria, is now um, a regional director for the Drug Enforcement Agency, DEA, in Bangkok, Thailand. Kellum said that though Tinubu was not subjected to criminal prosecution, and I think that's the reason why he can visit the United States uh, United Kingdom, he was not subjected to criminal prosecution. Um, the fact that he acceded to forfeit funds to the United States government was on its own a conviction. So he forfeited this amount of money and he forgot about it. And they said, with this, uh, since you cannot declare, you cannot actually prove how you got these funds. Simply put, you are involved in this crime itself. But then, as you see, um, to take a lot, they need a lot of evidence, a lot of evidence for them to be able to nail him. The letter in its opinion section noted, former um, paragraph 6 above, Ahmed Bola Tinubu was involved in money laundering transactions along with Muiz Adegboye Gaakonde and Abiodun Agbele in the United States of America. Arising from the case, Ahmed Bola Tinubu forfeited 460,000 United States dollars to the United States government being proceeds of narcotic trafficking or property involved in financial transactions in violation of 18 USO 1956 and 1957 and therefore was forfeitable to the United States of America. It is pertinent to know that the funds held by Citibank, which was released to Ahmed Bola Tinubu and the action filed against these funds held in the said account was dismissed with prejudice. This, in effect, means the case has not been closed and could be reopened at any time by the United States government. The court, in the order given on October 4, 1993, said the drug deal specifically in white heroin involved Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, his wife Oluremi Tinumbu, and three of his family members. The account from which the funds were seized includes First Heritage Bank, City International Bank, and um, the first heritage bank is one account. The City International Bank has about, uh, I think, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine 
different accounts. According to a special agent of the United States Criminal Investigation Service, Kevin Moss, the DA became involved in the investigation of White Erin Network operating in Chicago, Illinois, where Tinubu allegedly got a university certificate which became a source of controversy while he was in office and also in Amon, Indiana in 1988. Cocaine, heroin, guns and other paraphilia used for running the drug cartel was recovered by the investigators. The Avidavit added, the investigation disclosed that an individual known as Lee Andrews, Andrew Edwards was a source of white uranium. Edwards is currently, uh, is currently incarcerated for attempting to murder a federal agent while the agent was executing a search warrant. So the Lee Andrew Edwards is actually the source of this white uranium. And Bola Metunuba, according to this um, article, according to this story, is that he is a distributor. So the level of the distribution is what is not known. I think um, he became a little bit of a cartel, a little bit, not that much. The implication of the foregoing is that Bola Metunumbu may be incarcerated in his old age should he venture the United States anytime soon. I don't think it would be that stupid. He will never, ever, ever um, step in there. He will never, ever step in there. Well, I don't know what your thoughts are as regards all of this. There are reactions to this. There are people who feel that Bola Metinumbu is a sacred cow and is someone that no one in any way should get close to. Whenever you speak about Bola Metinumbu, um, people get really upset. They really get upset. Um, some say they should ask Jeff Hawkins, the former United States consulate, why he led a diplomatic delegation of the United States to visit Tinubu in 2013. He can also teach FBI their job and query them for not arresting Bola Tinubu in 2012. He went to the United States on the invitation of Obama to the United States Demo um, Democratic Party Convention. In all these cases, Tinubu was not holding any public office. He was and still a private citizen. So nobody should talk about him enjoying any diplomatic immunity on these occasions or crime you are talking about. Did he commit them yesterday after the ambassador visit? So that's what it is. You see, there is something about politics also. Um, we cannot actually, of course, we all know that there are cases that came up, there were, there were issues that came up as regards all of this. It's not a new thing that um, Bola Metunumbu and drug-related offenses have been connected together. But what you need to understand is that it, it, you are a suspect. Being a suspect does not necessarily make you um, the criminal. Um, you could commit a crime and if there are no proof, you see, that's how the world works. That's how civilized nations work. If you commit a crime and there are no proof of the crime, um, it will take a lot of investigation and they cannot arrest you um, while the investigation is being on. Yes, the story might come out there just like what we are saying here. And they said, well, he forfeited the money. He might say, well, I forfeited the money from money laundering and all of that. All, all of these are crimes, but he might say I wasn't involved in any um, drug-related crime. So that being said, someone said Tinubu will not go unpunished. APC member, same on you, Buari. Your party leader is a drug baron. Tinubu, Senator Remy, and co have both wanted the United States. AJF and Osage, what do you want? What do you have to say? Well, that's just one of those things anyway. Someone said, though, I'm not a big fan of Jagaban, but the man has traveled to the United States on so many occasions in the past. And in recent times, why wasn't he arrested? What I know that I have seen is that he had visited the United Kingdom. I don't know about Bola Metinubu visiting the United States of America. If you have seen vi pictures or videos of his visit to the United States of America, uh, I, I, you could please share this. What I know is that he has visited the United Kingdom. That's it. I see him visit his children. I see him go visit um, the president when he was sick. So I wouldn't know of the United States of America and all of that. I wouldn't know. The point is, if he has such case in the United States of America to answer, um, he would not want to step in there. And um, ambassadors or consulate visiting and all of that or invitation to come to Obama and all of that. I wouldn't know. It could be that he had the minister. And if he did not at that time, well, what can we say about it? They said he has not been you know did not really necessarily um kind of convict him on any of this crime it's just suspicion suspicion probably was able to cover up his tracks but they said he forfeited that huge amount of money he forfeited that huge amount of money someone say mr tinubu go and answer your call in america drugs lord you are fighting to impose another drug lord in edo state and someone say this well people are thinking this is party issue um right now that there are people who are trying to kind of make him 
um, look evil that is uh, he has been involved but what you need to understand is that in nigeria none of these things matter people do not vote for people or try to support people because they are people of integrity they are not used to all of this at all so why would they care that's what you need to know <music>